All right, we've got a brand new version of UC Surface 2.0. This new version is compatible with all of the same platforms that UC Surface was compatible with before. So that includes the Studio Live AI series, both the consoles and the rack mixers, the new Studio Live Series 3, as well as our Studio 192 and 192 mobile audio interfaces. We did a complete graphics update, but we also added some new workflow features and options to help you get the most out of the remote control of your mix. So let's take a look at some of the new stuff. First, right off the bat, you're gonna see, we've got a new look, we've got some colors on our channels. So let's dig into some of our settings and see what some of these new settings can do. So you go to the settings menu with the gear icon in the top right. I'm connected to a Series 3 mixer right now, so you'll see your device permissions, but over here on the right, under your system settings, across the top there we have new device display modes. So you, what you're probably most used to is the mixer display mode. This is the standard mix overview mode that we've had before. But now in addition to that, we also have our fat channel view. In this view, you'll get a complete overview of your entire fat channel for the selected channel. On the left, you'll have your channel fader. And from here, you can press the arrows to jump to the next and previous channels. You can also use the drop down to jump to a specific channel. On the top left you'll have your input settings. Below that's your high pass filter and below that is your limiter. And then on the right hand side you're going to have your gate, compressor, and EQ. Let's go back into the settings again. And after Fat Channel, we have a Sends view. The Sends view will show you all of the sends for the selected channel. This includes all of your AUG sends, as well as your effect sends. Here you'll see the selected channel on the left, and the arrows to go to the previous and next channels are located at the top of the screen. Back in our Settings menu again, we also have a Meters mode. This will show you all of the input and output meters on your mixer. It will also show you if a channel is muted. A great feature with the new UC Surface that really helps take advantage of these new display modes is our Channel Selection Sync. Just below the view modes on the right, you'll see the Channel Selection Select Sync button. If you turn that on, as you select a channel on the mixer, UC Surface will follow your selection. These new view modes with Sync Select allow you to use UC Surface as a second, third, or even fourth screen for your mixer. You can have the fat channel overview on one screen, your meters view on another, and your sends view on yet another screen. If you have even more screens, another computer or iPad, you can even bring it up and show like your scenes view or something like that to really get a huge view and multiple points of access to what's going on in your mix. It's a really cool tool, really valuable. We think you're really going to like it a lot. We also have a couple other things. You probably noticed as I was going through the channels some of the different colors. Let's dig into that for a second. So you'll see in your settings menu that you have a colorized channels button. This will help you to choose the different modes for your color channels. When I have this button turned on, I will see the complete channel in the color that I've chosen. To set up a color for your channel, you can go to the channel settings screen and use the channel color selector. If you don't like the full channel colored, you can turn colorized channels off. And now, only the name bar at the bottom of each channel will reflect the color. Another great feature is our new color schemes. Just above the colorized channel, you'll see a dark and light button under color schemes. This is great when switching from an indoor to outdoors. You can also use the bar underneath to customize the channel color to fit your particular likeness and needs. The ability to change the color scheme of UC Surface has been a highly requested feature. When you're doing a gig indoors or in a dark environment, it's pretty easy to see what's going on on your mix. But when you go outdoors or a bright environment, 
This allows you to now customize the way the color scheme works to help with the contrast and brightness of the different controls in UC Service, making it easier for you to get around your mix and see what you're doing. Speaking of making it easy to see what you're doing, we also have some new features in how we display the channel icons and numbers at the bottom of each channel. Check it out. Here in my settings view, I've also got a channel ID selection. By default, it'll be set to icon. In this view mode, you'll see the icon only at the bottom of each channel. I can also change this to icon plus number. In this view, you'll see the icon and a small channel number in the lower right of the bottom of each channel. I can also choose to just show the number. In this view, you'll just get a large display of the channel number at the bottom, making it easier for you to identify which channel you're looking at. All right, so those are some of the new settings and options that we have. We've also done a few workflow improvements to help you get around your mix. Let's take a look at those. First, you'll notice that you no longer need to select an effects mix in order to edit that mix. I now have an effects button on the right hand side of the fat channel area. When I select that button, I'll see the effects edit view mode, and then I can select which effect I want to pull up to see. It's the same with your GEQs. I have a GEQ button that now allows me to see the GEQ without having to go and access it on the flex fader. We've also moved where to access your quick access bar. There's now a, an arrow in the lower right hand corner of the view that gives you a larger hit area that's easier to press to open up your quick access bar. So that's some of the new stuff you're going to see. And remember, these new features are available for all of the platforms on UC Surface. That includes your Studio Live AI series mixers, both the consoles as well as the RM and RML rack mixers, and the new Studio Live Series 3 mixers, and the Studio 192 and 192 mobile audio interfaces. We hope you enjoyed this overview. Be sure to check out some of our other videos that go through some of the workflows and how-tos of the mixers and the software to make sure that you're getting the most out of your Persona system. Mm -hmm.